everyone, this is Rochelle at Lucy and on Keto. Um, coming back to you with another recipe uh, that fits the protein to energy ratio very well, the protein sparing modified fast protocol. Um, if you watched uh, my first video and understood how to follow the script so that you don't have to leverage a keto calculator or do any tracking. So today's recipe that I have for you is a very simple recipe. Um, and this is something that I make as a grab and go, as I do with a lot of my protein uh, supplement meals. So I'll make, um, you know, seven or so of these at once. And uh, what I'm making for you today is, this is another protein supplement meal idea. Um, so what I'm going to make for you today is a keto chow shake, and in this case, the natural strawberry because I like uh, the sweet ones flavored with monk fruit rather than sucralose, but you could certainly use any one of their products for this. Um, so you see it's just, it's just the um, keto chow powder plus, plus uh, water. And what you get here is 123 calories, 23 grams of protein, no fat, seven total carbohydrates, six dietary fiber, leaving you with one net carb. So in total, that's a protein to energy ratio of 16. So once again, a very good ratio and a very simple recipe. And like I said, you can make these, uh, you know, multiple shakes at the time and store them in the refrigerator and have them as a grab and go. So I have the protein powder here stored. So, um, you know, Keto Chow is part of their recipe show you how to you know, add fat. They say that you can control the amount of fat that you um, can add to their to their shakes. Well, for following my protocol to maximize the fat loss, I don't, of course, add any fat. So it's just like I said, it's the water and it's the protein powder. So to make sure that this blends well, I'm going to um, first put in some water and I'm probably putting in about 12, 10 to 12 ounces because I like it thick and I'm going to show you the uh, texture of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit first and then I'll measure out one scoop. One scoop equates to those macros that I read to you. So I'm just going to level off this scoop. And drop that in. And then add in some additional water. And I've got some measurements here that I'm going to follow. If you can see that that's about 14 ounces right there. So I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to um, pour that in and store that into in a container. So I'm just mixing that up. And Keto Chow says to, you know, store, um, make this 24 hours in advance or so. Otherwise, um, I guess it tastes um, very salty. But, um, but I'll pour that in. So I'll do something like this. And you can see, hopefully, that texture. So I'll pour that into one of these belly jars. And, or in this case, the ball jar. And uh, put that in the refrigerator or... Oops, or um, you know, one of these with a with a lid, and I did this so you can see how thick that is. So it makes a pretty a pretty thick shake that's pretty delicious. So um, so like I said, I make you know seven of these or so at a time, and I store them in the refrigerator. And um, in a future video, I'm going to show you how I make my um, lunch with my uh, broth-based soup that has my two cups of vegetables. If you followed the protocol, 
in the first video. And then I do a, pro a protein supplement meal with uh, that soup. And actually what I have for lunch is one of these shakes. So the soup plus one of these shakes is my, is my lunch. And I'm going to show that to you in a future video. But anyways, short video, very simple. Um, I chose to use the natural strawberry keto chow uh, shake mix because like I said, I prefer the uh, monk fruit sweetener. But keto chow has many, many um, flavors, uh, sweet flavors for these shakes. If, uh, if you don't mind sucralose, then um, you know there's, there's lots of options for you. If you're preferential to monk fruit, then they have just the one, just the natural strawberry. So simple recipe. Hopefully these are helping you. And uh, I've got some more recipes coming in the future. And uh, I hope you're enjoying them. And I hope more importantly, you're benefiting from them. So until the next video, uh, I hope your uh, weight loss journey, fat loss journey is successful. I hope what you're finding on my channel is helping and, uh, and feel free to, you know, add a comment, add a question. I'll respond to you, but, uh, but I've done this channel here to, to help you and help so we can help each other. And I'm passing along my learning. And once again, I hope you're benefiting. And so more, more such videos like this to come and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.